Hi, I'm Mindy Whitten. Welcome to the studio. I'm, I'm here in the gallery where I've got my exhibition at the moment and I'm going to be doing a little bit of painting while I'm here. I'm just going to be using this one as a reference. What I like about it is the stormy sky, that really peachy uh, sky, still sky near the... So you might be able to see these rays coming down. So that's the kind of effect I'm after. Let's get cracking. So today, um, today I'm going to do this small uh, painting. Uh, what I really like about it is the silver sea, the clouds, the light coming through here, and this lovely peachy layer of sky along there. I've chosen a My Tense paper with this brown background. I'm sorry to say that I've already blocked in the major shapes there with Conte and I forgot to turn the video on, I thought it was on and it wasn't. So we've missed that stage but I'll just explain what I did. So what I did was just take my small box of Conte and use those crowns, Contes on their side surface area and just wrap in those cloud areas there. And then run that color, some of the cloud color, through the sea area and then choose a, a, a peachy kind of color to go in the sky this up. I've used a deeper colour and now I'm just putting in some of the lighter colours. And this is all with the contain. There's some light around the edges of the, the clouds there, so popping that in now. And I will put a bit of that lighter colour up on top of the clouds here. And I'll go back in it with a cooler white later on, but right now it's just these colours. And a little bit in here at the top of the clouds, just with the, again, length of the pastel there. So that's blocking in the major shapes. Before I did that I carefully measured from the top down 19 centimetres each side to make a really straight level horizon line because the reference photo has quite a low horizon. I'm in the gallery at the moment where I'm sitting and I have an exhibition going on so I'm not in my usual setup and it won't be quite as good, but there we go. The box of pastels that I'm going to use because I, I'm not at home, I'm in the gallery, is just one box plus the, the small tin of Conte's and it's the, the landscape rich and McKinley set from Terry Ludwig pastels, absolutely beautiful soft pastel. And here's the set here, you can see the colour choices that I've got. And so I'm just going to make those work within the painting reference photo that I've got. I'm going to start work on the sky here. I've got these dark um, under colours there that I've done with the, the contours, and now I'm going to start putting some soft pastel over it. I want to get some blues up the top first for the sky. So we'll start by putting in a little bit of sky blue around the clouds. I won't have too much blue in the sky, but just, just putting a little bit in there. And I'll need a couple of different blues because it will be lighter over this area. Sun is shining from here, it's going to be lighter a little bit further away there. So just making that, that section of the sky slightly lighter than the other section. And the sky behind the clouds, I want to be fairly smooth, so I'm just going to use tip of my finger and then rub it all in there. I might need to do a few more layers because I've got the brown that I've chosen as the background and I really don't want much of that to show through in the sky. So here I am just rubbing that in. A bit more pastel going on here. I'm not going to do this smoothing all over the sky because I don't want that effect all over the sky but I would like it in, in the blue section of it and again down here in the peachy colour so I'm going to just 
just be wiping my pastels off as I go. And here I'm going to put in some of the soft pastel over that. And going into the peachy, pinky tones. And because, as I said, I've, I've just got my small box, I haven't got exactly the colours I want, so I'm going to have to optically mix them a bit by adding different colours until I get the effect I'm after. And I'm going to actually go back in in a moment with my... I want it to be a bit more peachy rather than pink, so I'm going to go into my little box of Conte's and find the colour I initially used, which is like a sienna colour. I can't fish it out. <laughs> oh, there it comes. Out it comes. And I'm going to go over the pinks with this. I'm going to kind of circular motion. And that will help to push the pigments together and into the sanded paper. And we can get that nice peachy glow I was looking for in the sky. I'm going over all that area to achieve this kind of look. And then this one's going to get the look flat of the finger treatment as well. That's pretty good. Just going to use my finger to give it a bit of a smooth in. And I want that background to be fairly, down here to be fairly uniform in smoothness, I'm not seeing much of the background colour, but I'll have different variations of the peachy sienna colours coming through. So I've got, I've now got those warm peachy tones in for the sky and I've got some pale blue up the top there. And now what I want to do is start working on those clouds. And the clouds are just going to be a combination of all sorts of colours. So I'm just starting to put in some more colours, take them around the edge there. And blend a bit between the darker and the lighter areas of the clouds by just taking the pastel and running it over there. I'm not using my finger here, I'm just using the pastel. There will be some lighter edges of the clouds too, and I'm just taking lighter tones of the same purpley colours and adding those in. Bring them all the way around. very stormy down here and I'm going to be putting some, dragging some darks over those peachy colours shortly. Tailing that cloud out. And just bring that all the way around here. So you're just dragging it with the smooth flat side, you can get those soft feathery sort of edges of clouds that you see where it's, it hasn't got uh, it doesn't have the same sort of body, it, it's, it's just dragged across the sky and it gives you that trailing cloud look. I'm building up the cloud masses here, just going to keep them more in, more and more. And there's going to be a nice bright spot in there, so I'm going to move towards a warmer colour. A warmer, off-white, but a sort of more yellowy one. And that's going to go in around this area where the light's coming through. Around the edge of the clouds there. Keep going around there. Where the clouds are kind of back it. So I'll be coming through with a bit of that through here and edging off some of this. I'm going to make some darker areas here as well. So I'll just get that in there. The 
cloud mass is building up now. Um, I will do a little bit of blending in those clouds with my finger, but I'll then be coming back to use more of the soft pastel. So I'm just wanting to get them sort of a little bit soft around the edge here. And it actually helps if I just use the tip of my finger very lightly around the edges to give that feathery look you get on the edges of clouds. So I'm just feathering them out a bit with the tip of my finger. And as I go into the darker, deeper bits, I put a little bit more pressure on, then back into the feathering at the edges with just a light pressure from my fingers. And you can see how it's feathering out there. Just working all over these clouds and I'll be coming back and strengthening the areas again. And now I want to work a little bit more on the clouds. I've smoothed them out a little bit. Now I want to go back in them with some looser colours. I'm going to re-establish some of the lighter colours around the edges there. It's very light through here in the reference photo. You can see it's quite light in there. So I'm just going to put a little bit of that in around the edges. And again, this is just going to go on loosely. I'm, I'm not going to do too much with this except put it in a little bit loosely around the edges to suggest the light, backlighting those clouds. Sometimes it's hard with these square pastels to get a soft edge on them. I might, might need to use my finger to, to help with that. But just to get this, the trailing edges of the clouds, it's just swiping them across like that and then I'll go back in in a moment with my fingertip and just loosen them off a little bit. lighter warmer color in and now I'll go back in with some of the deeper colors here I've got a deep blue that's going to get a little bit of a workout now down here and that will go fantastically over the the peachy colors there so just putting that in and you can see as I put it in over the top of the purples underneath you don't get such a really deep blue and it modifies the blue a bit which is helpful in this case so I don't want it quite so dark around there so I want it quite dark around the, the base of the clouds here where it's heavy with rain and I want to put a little bit of the deep dark up here So it's getting quite heavy down there. I'm going to take the chance now while I've got this one to just rub it, run it right across here in the, the water as well. So here we go, over the water. Just giving it a little tap. Taking a, a warm yellowy colour again, and just on the top of my clouds there, it's a sort of yellowy grey. I'm putting in this warmer colour, running it a little bit down through there. 
around the edges there. Just giving myself a little bit of warmness in the sky there. In those clouds. It's going to be a bit of that reflected down on the water here too. So I'm just putting it in now to remind me that I want to keep that in. I'm just rubbing it softly across there to get a little bit of... Sorry, I'll set the camera around. Just rubbing it softly across the water there to give a little bit of light on the water. put in a little bit of green in those clouds too, just a green and grey, just to give it a little bit of variety. And you often have some greeny tinges in the in rain clouds, so just putting a little bit of that in. And now I'm going to give that, just smooth some of the transition areas. Not, not really rubbing it in, just softly dragging my finger across it. Doing the great, and then I'll smooth off some of the transitions. Without losing too much of the freshness. build up the rain clouds a bit more here. I've probably not made them as substantial as I should have. So I'm just going through there again with a little bit more of a build up. A little bit coming out through there. And giving the clouds a little bit of volume. I'm going to put something a little bit warmer in there. A warm grey. I'm trying to mix up the, the cool Cool blues and the, the warm blues here in, in the clouds. Give that a little bit of a warm warmth there. And I'm not getting too concerned about the the shapes of these clouds really. I'm not worrying about are they exactly like the clouds in the the photo, the reference photo. I'm just giving them a cloud-like structure and letting them be. So the clouds have, have got that nice foreboding sort of look about them. What I want to do is now make that this sort of wispy edge here. And to start with I'm just dragging, dragging with my finger and dragging out some, some wispy edges. Letting them go in a couple of different directions so they're not just all going in one. Different uh, lengths away from the distance from the cloud, so not some will be longer, some will be shorter. <coughs> back into it, folks. All the visitors have gone for a while, so I'm just going to get back into this. You can see that I've got the nice uh, trailing edges of those clouds. I've put some uh, little highlights in the water there. There's a little landmass along there. I am going to put it in because I quite like the very deep darkness of that. And it's going to go in, I'm starting off with using the, the dark navy sort of. Colour. I'm just dragging it along the horizon there and then giving the landmass a little bit of a shape there. Like so. And then I'll just go back in and
use a harder Conte stick to just delineate that a little bit more. And I will take some of that colour back through into the water here in a couple of places. But I don't want it to be too bright blue, and this is quite a bright, bright blue, so I'm just putting a little bit of it in. The thing in this reference photo that we could see is we've got all this sun streaming down from this very bright area here, so it's making those kind of rays. We might try and put some of those in, though they're notoriously difficult to do. So I'm catching all the light, so it's the, the rays coming down like this. So I'm, I'm not sure if I've got a colour that's going to work with that. We might start off with this uh, very pale yellow, really pale yellow, and just put a few rays coming down from this area. From, I need to make that a little bit lighter there, and so we'll just take, I'm taking the edge, but I'm just dragging it slightly through there. A few more coming down this way. And they're far too aggressive at the moment. So I'm going to be knocking those back a bit. And the way I'm going to do that is just take my finger and drag it along there. And so that you can see that they're really too, too much. So I'm just rubbing my finger over them and trying to diffuse them a little bit. So they're much more diffuse as they're coming down but still giving that feeling of the sun's rays. So that's made them a bit more diffuse, but I still want to do more. And what I'm going to do is just put a bit of this around the edges again. And give that a bit of a... again with just the finger moving in about and then I drag down again and so we're getting that effect of the light coming through there I'm going to put a little bit more back into here bit maybe a little bit more there so that you can't quite see where they start from giving them a little bit of a more diffusing because you just don't want them to be too obvious or they look just too much too bad. So I think I've achieved what I set out to achieve here. There's my reference photo again and what I've managed to do, what I wanted to do was to get that lovely peachy sky, sparkle on the water, the storm clouds and then the rays coming down through it and I think we've achieved that here. I've got the peachy sky, I've got the clouds sort of diffusing down. Thanks for joining me in the gallery today, not in the studio. Um, this is the painting I've just been working on for you from this reference photo. I'll put the reference photo on my blog. Thanks for joining me in the gallery today. I hope you enjoyed this demonstration. Bye for now. See you next time in the studio.